The following demonstrates healthcare providers delaying care and escalating an already agitated patient. What follows is an uncoordinated and dangerous attempt at restraint. Nurse, can anybody hear me? I know you're listening. Is there a problem? Frequent flyer alcoholic from the bar just down the corner. Eh, sounds like he can wait. Can I get some service in here? Sir, um, oh, we need to start your IV. I need to get you in the bed. Now we're doing this for your own good. Whatever. We're starting your IV, sir. Why? You need fluids. Okay. Not really. Just cleaning, just cleaning your skin is all I'm doing. Okay, it's gonna be a little stick, okay? Ready? Ow! Sir, Jesus! You, you've gotta hold still. I gotta get this IV. Have you done it. this before? Yes, I have. Are you sure? I have. You just gotta hold still for me. All right. Ow! Come Sir, on, man! You need to hold still, or I'm gonna get somebody to hold you down. All right, hey, you're gonna need to hold still. You're gonna need to kiss. What are you doing, dude? Let go of me! Come on, man, come on. Just hold still. What if I told you things could have gone much, much worse? Hey, you're gonna need to hold still. You're gonna need to kiss my dude. You're doing, dude. Let go of me. Come on, man. Come on. Just hold still. A safe and effective physical restraint involves restraining the patient's extremities and head while avoiding pressure to the neck, chest, or abdomen in such a way that he is unable to harm himself or healthcare providers. Sometimes a patient in the throes of psychosis or of any number of organic diseases from drug intoxication to hypoglycemia will not be able to be talked down. If those patients are in imminent danger to themselves or anyone else or have undiagnosed dangerous disease, they may require physical restraint. Hey doctor, I got this patient in room three. He's getting violent. I'm not able to talk him down, can't control him. We need to get an IV in him so we can um, uh, get him better. Um, I'm gonna need some help. All right, all right. Um, I hear you. Um, so he's in um, pretty severe alcohol withdrawal, and so if we don't, can I get some him, damn service in here? Get worse and could die. So we're going to need to do a hold and release. Um, so to do this, um, we're going to need to we're going to need the whole team all at once. Uh, I'm going to go in and start talking with him, and when I say the words "hold still," you need to make sure that you have him and hold him fast. Um, so. Uh, 
Dr. Kamara, I want you to hold the right elbow. Um, Dr. Humphrey, I would like you to hold the left elbow. Uh, Mr. Burr, can you hold the right knee? And I want uh, Mr. Burr to hold the left knee. Okay. And I will hold the forehead. So uh, no pressure on the chest, no pressure on the abdomen, no pressure on the neck. We're gonna hold him, and as soon as he's, uh, he's calm, uh, I want him released. Okay. All right, let's do it. Okay, perfect. What the hell's all this? Uh, Mr. Berg, we're really worried about you, and we're gonna need to give you some medicine to make you better. Why don't you go to hell? I, I understand that, but it's something that we have to do. It's gonna make you feel better. So these gentlemen are gonna help us uh, uh, give you some medicine. So, gentlemen, I, uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to need to hold Mr. Bird still. Uh-uh. Look at here. You touch me. I'll kill you first. I understand, Mr. Bird. Hey, uh, back, back off! Mr. 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 Bird, I, I would... What we're going to need to do is get you the medicine you need. So what Mr. you got? What you got? So, Mr. Parrish, um, if you could help Mr. Bird with his arm. Don't touch me. Mr. Bird, we're just here to help you, Don't sir. touch me. We're just here to help you. I don't care. No, Leave me alone. No, no, I do mind. No. I do mind. No. Ms. Angela? Yeah. Get just off me! Administer the ketamine. Okay. I know who you people are. Ketamine is administered. Left deltoid. Ms. you're going to be okay. We're just going to get you your medicine. You're going to be okay. So he's, uh, should be treated as uh, critically ill. Uh, I want him treated as a procedural sedation. Let's place him on pulse oximetry. We need continuous uh, CO2 monitoring. Uh, let's move him into one of the uh, more intensive care beds. Um, also, let's get an ABG and I need a rectal temperature. He could be hyperthermic right now. Okay. We also need a CK. He's been struggling for a long time and could be in rhabdomyolysis. Um, Let's also figure out what his home antipsychotics are, and as he's waking up, we'll go ahead and administer those. All right, thank you, everyone. The best way to stop violence is to stop it before it ever starts. Nurse! Are you listening? I know you can hear me. What's going on with that guy? Drunk guy raising hell. Huh. You think he could be withdrawing? I think he's a jerk. <laughs> I, um, but seriously, what do you think? What do you think's going on with him? This thirty-one year old guy bought in by police. He was downtown making a scene at a bar. Hmm. They uh, any signs of trauma? No. Uh, he under arrest? Not yet. Uh, did you get a glucose? He won't even get on the stretcher. Uh, uh, Can I get some damn service in here? Sounds like I better see him. Do you want me to come with? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Hey, Mr. Bird. Get the hell. Hey, um, uh, hey. Uh, so, so, Mr. Bird, I'm Dr. Snyder. I just, we just want to say hi. Um, they, they just told me that you were just feeling pretty upset. You're damn right I am. Mm, tell me what's going on. Man, I wouldn't do anything. I was just drinking at that bar. And I was trying to get some service, and they wouldn't listen to me, and then they throw me out, and I find myself in this shitty yard. All these people trying to stick me, giving me that, I can't find the vein bullshit. They just, they just, actually, you want one of these? They're free. Oh, sure. Yeah, here you go. The... Upset? That's what I was telling you before! Oh man, that doesn't, that doesn't sound fair. Um, I bet you about look down to your last nerve. You're damn right I am! Do you, have you ever taken a nerve pill? Like what? I mean, you don't have to have one. I was just thinking like, you know, you get really worked up and you're just mad and frustrated. Sometimes I give somebody Librium, which is like... What does that do? It's like a medicine where... You know how, like, if you need a drink really bad and you just can't get one and you just get all, you get really, like, tense and 
just don't feel good, it just kind of smooths you out. It doesn't, it doesn't put you to sleep or anything, but it just kind of takes, you know, it takes it down a notch. It's like just, just, just a little more relaxing, which I mean, I know I could use. All right. Huh? Yeah. Well, let's get you one. Hey, Angela, can we give um, uh, let's give Mr. Bird uh, just a Librium pill. You let me know if you like it. Great. Then we'll then we'll talk about uh, you know the, the next step. If you don't like the way it makes you feel, we won't give you another one. That's fine. Mr. Bird, your physician has ordered you some Librium. Are you okay to take that? Yeah. Can yeah. you give me your name and date of birth? Sure, first? sure. It's, it's Aaron Bird and it's, yeah, 10, 16, and 82. Okay. So what I want to do, if you're okay with this, I wanted to have one of our behavioral health counselors come by, kind of talk to you about like managing um, alcohol consumptions and maybe work on getting you in a happier, healthy state. Well, you got anything like bad thoughts? Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Like, what, what kind of bad thoughts are you I having? I want to talk about it. Okay. That's fine. You don't have to. But, um, yeah, we, we have lots of medicines that, that, that help with bad thoughts. If the manpower to affect such a restraint is unavailable, it may be best to avoid the restraint altogether. Sir, I need you to put the IV pole down and step back in the bed for me, okay? That's not gonna happen. At least let me have the pole that is hospital property. Oh, you think so? Huh? Come and take it. You so want it? Come here. You're here it is. threatening me, Come so you're it. not gonna leave the hospital. Come get it. You are not you leaving the hospital. You watch me leave. You're not leaving. Mr. Bird, how about we do this? How about uh, you get the stretcher and we'll give you some medicine to make you feel better? Or, alternate plan, how about I beat both your asses? You know, Ms. Angela, I, I think Mr. Burr's got a great point. Uh, Mr. Burr, we're not going to touch you. You're, you're, you're scaring us, and we're not going to keep you from leaving. So... Damn right. We just got, we got to let him go. Uh, I'll, contact, uh, I'll contact the police.